Hi everyone, my name is King Ivy and this is Introduction to Tableau Basics. And in this, this is the first of seven lessons on the Introduction to Tableau. And really the overall objective of these seven lessons is by then you should be an intermediate user of Tableau in the sense that you'd be able to create basic charts and visualizations and dashboards and be able to use them in some useful manner. And I've trained lots of people, professionals, students, data advocates uh, in using Tableau visualization. So hopefully in these lessons, you'll find it useful, even if you are have come across the software before. So in the first lesson, we're going to cover intro and how to connect to data. So let's get started. So we're going to use Tableau Public, which is the free version available. And the main difference between this version and desktop or server is that one, it's free, two, it has some feature limitations, three, uh, you can't save the files to your desktop, it automatically gets saved, not automatically, if you were to save it, it gets saved to Tableau public server, which makes it publicly available. So what I have here is basically the imported version. So we're gonna try to get there. I'm gonna click on right click close, file close, and you should have this version of the screen. If you don't, then uh, pause the video and and then download it and come back. So I'm seeing everyone at this point has Tableau public downloaded. So I'm gonna click on open data. And then you'll see there's various options here. In this case, we're gonna use Microsoft Excel and we're gonna click on sales data. So I'm gonna provide a link in the description below on where you can download sales data. So you can use this and use it as an interactive, uh, engaging, hands-on type of workshop. So we're gonna double click. It takes a second to load. And what you'll see here, is you'll have the various sheets and you wanna drag the sheets here. So you can either drag it or you can double click. And then what you'll see here is you can actually take a look and see the various data. And usually Tableau does a pretty good job at that. And we're going to click on go to worksheet. And what you'll see here is you'll have dimensions and measures. And dimensions are groups of data where you would group the data and it would make some sense. Or measures are basically where you would go and value the data. So for example, uh, sales by city. City is the dimension because you're grouping the sales, sales by city and then Sales is obviously the measure because it's measuring the volume or sales activity within each city. Another rule of thumb that I like to use is that uh, measure is typically known if, if you can take the field and perform a mathematical function, such as taking discounts, multiplying by two, adding two discounts together, that makes some sense. While row ID, for example, if you were to multiply by two, it wouldn't really make any sense. Say, for example, you accidentally put row ID in measures or Tableau automatically put it. Then what you want to do is just drag it or you can right click uh, convert to measure or right click convert to dimension. What you'll see here as well is that there's various data types. So you'll see this globe. This represents a geographic role and you'll see here the various options depending on what the data is. A string because it's the character. Uh, this calendar, which is basically means that it's a date, if you want or to change it, or for if it was a date and it wasn't properly identified, you can see the various options here. And then this is a numeric, which basically means that it doesn't really mean much. The only time it would matter is if you're performing a mathematical function, uh, performing a function or creating a new field in Tableau and that function require a string or numeric, then you would have to go and convert it within, you can either right click convert it here which will convert it as default or convert it in your formula. So that's the basics of Tableau. So I'll, I'll leave it there. And in the next lesson, we'll be starting to create some of the basic charts so that you can find it, find it useful. Thank you. And look forward to seeing you next lesson.